thought for sure they played the Jaws theme. Mm -hmm. Back now on the big board, sharks. Most people head in the opposite direction when they hear one is near. But um, not Mr. Rob Lowe. Not him. Mm -hmm. He spotted two great whites off the beach in Santa Barbara. You see him right there. TMZ camera crew caught it all. He jumped on his paddleboard for a closer look. I'm in the water all the time, fishing, surfing. You hear about them. Never seen one. I've certainly never been right on top of them. It was kind of boring. They're not big enough to eat seals, so I don't feel like we're on the menu for them. Um, they're tiny little guys, as great whites go. I, I wouldn't be out here if the mom was here. <laughs> Still has sure, sense yeah. of humor. Let's go to Boca Raton, Florida, where shark expert Dr. Stephen Kajura joins us right now. Dr. Kajura, thank you for joining us this morning. This just can't be a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, in, in general, it's never a really good idea to go provoking the wildlife. Uh, don't poke the bear, so to speak. But uh, on the other hand, these are not particularly big sharks. And so as a result, uh, they're feeding primarily on fishes and their, their tooth shape actually reflects that. These white sharks don't shift to a marine mammal diet until they're much bigger and their teeth become big, broad, triangular, serrated teeth. But uh, generally, yeah, you don't want to be bothering them because just because these were small sharks doesn't mean that there's not a big one down there as well. I don't. What constitutes a small shark? To me, a shark <laughs> is a shark is a shark is a shark. But but uh, Rob Lowe said you know he's very comfortable out on his board, very comfortable on the water. Not everybody is. So if you find yourself in a situation like that, what should you do? Well, sure. If you if you're out there paddleboarding around and. Uh, you happen to see a white shark or uh, you know a big shark in the water, the first thing you should do is say, wow, I'm really lucky to get a chance to see this and enjoy the fact that you're actually uh, experiencing it. And then the next thing you should do is say, it would be prudent to go in at this point. Uh, these are big animals and they're wildlife. They can do whatever they want and they might very well uh, come along and knock you off your board incidentally as they're investigating and uh, that might be unpleasant for you all around. Unpleasant? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that's right. But we have been seeing, you know, more shark sightings, it seems like, on, on, on both coasts. Right, and I think that's a really good sign. It's indicative of a healthy ecosystem when you have a large number of these top level uh, predators. And so seeing uh, large numbers of sharks means that the ecosystem is rebounding. We're, we're building healthy populations again. So uh, let's view that as a positive and, and not a detriment at all. And you said that we should happen upon one, that you, we should go like, oh, how lucky are we? Uh, why, why, do you, why do you say that? What is it about the great white that, that fascinates you? Well, I think what's interesting is these are, these are top level predators. And so there's not very many of them out there. If you went out to the beach and you saw a little, a little bait fish, you'd say, well, I don't care. There's millions of them. But when there's only uh, a handful of white sharks out there and you see one, you should really consider yourself uh, winning the lottery. You got to see it in its natural habitat. And I think that's a, that's a really positive uh, boost for you. That is one way of looking at it. Win we'll give you run. that. <laughs> yes, that's it. Hey, good doctor. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate your passion. My pleasure.